For the Warriors clinched a playoff spot, it was also an extra special night for one fan. KPI X-Vice Betty Yu tells us about how the Warriors and one star player celebrated Autism Awareness Night. It was a thrilling victory for the Warriors tonight over the Jazz on Autism Awareness Day. Draymond Green also hosted a dear friend who has autism for the special night. In the crowd tonight cheering on the Warriors and his former Michigan State teammate Draymond Green was Anthony Iani. He was diagnosed with a higher functioning form of autism known as pervasive developmental disorder as a child. When he called me, first thing he says to me, hey, AI, like I'm like, you know, the Warriors were doing an autism awareness game April 2nd. They want me to do some of these different clinics and some of these different events, but I told them that I wasn't going to do anything unless they brought you out here. And the Warriors did just that. The two had a rocky start to their friendship in college. You know, there were times where his joking and sarcasm went really too far with me. And so that's one of my biggest weaknesses or one of my characteristics being on the autism spectrum is that I don't understand the joking and the sarcasm piece really well. One day he says the two got in a shoving match and that's when a coach revealed Anthony's disorder to Draymond. Draymond kind of walked up to me and said, hey, like, why didn't you tell me all this? And I kind of told him why, like, I didn't think he would understand it really well. And from that day on, our relationship changed completely because he took it upon himself to learn more about who I was as a person being on the autism spectrum. Today, Anthony is an author and motivational speaker. The two spent Friday hosting a basketball clinic at Thrive City for 30 kids with autism. Tonight, Anthony rang the ceremonial bell ahead of tip-off against the Jazz. Chase Center is also selling specially designed popcorn at every remaining home game throughout the arena, with proceeds going to the Autism Society of San Francisco. We met Anthony in the Warriors Wellness Sensory Room, available to any fans who may be overwhelmed by the crowd, lights, and sounds of the arena, and need a safe space to get away. After tonight's game, Anthony and Draymond also also hosted a post-game talk with fans and families dealing with autism. It's huge because it's a voice. A lot of times these situations don't have voices, so there's not even the awareness or the acceptance. So when you have someone like Draymond step up and speak about it, people listen. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.